Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. I wanted to jump on because God gave me a word for the launch of the Wild Ones that I want to release over you guys. I know it's the day after launch, but I just have to release this word. It's going to be up on Instagram, uh, sorry, up on YouTube, wherever. It's going to be just a quick, I feel like I'm just prophesying over you today. I'm just prophesying what I feel like the Lord is saying that you're stepping into. One of the things that you're stepping into in 2022, um, you know, you go through seasons that you feel like you get robbed so much. You go through seasons that you feel like there is so much robbery. There are so many things that are just uh, depleted from your life. There just feels like there is so much injustice. And you're not always realizing how much God is so, um, he's such a God of vengeance, such a God of vindication. And I feel like this is a word of commissioning, but it's also a word of the Lord coming to vindicate you. And also you being a vindicator in the earth, you coming and, and in 2022, breaking through the areas that even, even in your own personal life and even your greatest struggles that you found were really quite difficult. And that's what God's going to do. You're going to see God switch these around. So anyway, let me prophesy these. Thanks, by the way, just for the support and the love with the book. I'm just so glad just to see all of the amazing um, testimonies that have been coming through with the book. Uh, people just saying, you know, uh, I think the one today that I really loved was someone saying that it was such a book of encouragement, commissioning, but also um, of such deep um, repentance. And as I'm like, whoa, you know, that's amazing. Good to see you guys. So anyway, here we go. You guys ready for this? Are you ready for me just to simply prophesy this over you? And this is the word. It's time for the wild ox anointing to break out in your life. Let me say this again. It's time for the wild ox anointing to break out in your life. What does that mean? The enemy has spent all his effort and time trying to keep you hidden so you'd never discover who you were called to be. He has tried to keep you in dysfunction so you would never uncover the anointing and message that you are created to deliver. He has tried to stall you, stagnate you, and delay you with a myriad of assignments to keep you managed and controlled. He has seen the voice you were born with and has spared no effort to make sure you lived muzzled and caged up your whole life. He's used religion to reject you and keep you from having any influence. He's used people that should have championed you to wound you so that you never tried to rise up ever again. He's tried to make you feel like a leper and unworthy so that you never realize the mighty mouthpiece and son or daughter that you were called to be. The orphanages have been full, but today marks a new day for the church where the doors are opening. The hidden ones are emerging. Chains are rattling. The Lord has said, for too long have my prophets and bride been sent underground or died before their time. The enemy has tried to make my bride toothless and weak, passive and powerless. But today my roar is awakening their roar again. Yes, it's time for the roar to reset you, heal you and rescue you from the pit that you've been in. Amos 3.8 says, the lion has roared. Who will not fear? The sovereign Lord has spoken. Who can but prophesy? You watch what God's going to do in this season. There's something almost... There's something contagious that's about to break out in your life. People around you are going to be mad, like, man, I need to be around that person because there's just so much breakthrough. There's something that's happened. I know they've been through some stuff, but there's something on the other side of it that I didn't expect them to kind of come out of it roaring. I didn't expect them to come out swinging. I didn't expect for them to come out with such a ridiculous breakthrough anointing on the other side. In fact, I didn't expect for them to even make it out. That's what people are going to say about you. I didn't expect for them to make it out of that deep, dark chasm and pit they're being in. But man, they're coming out raw and there's something that's happening. And I want to be around them because I feel like when I'm around them, breakthrough happens for me as well. You ever been around those kind of people? You're one of those people. Wounds and trauma are not wrapped up in your name or identity. Let me say that again. R wounds and trauma are not wrapped up in your name and your identity. They are not you. You can entrust them to Jesus and move on. And I know I'm going to get people saying that's easier said than done. But I feel like today God's doing something. I feel like there is something, even if you've been like, I've been living with this stuff my whole life, Nate. Depression, trauma. I've been living with so much hurt and pain. You can entrust it to Jesus. He wants you to look at what you're about to step into. And that's going to help you move out of that identity you've been in that this is my legacy your legacy is not trauma trauma is just trauma is just one of the road you know the pit stops in our road it's just one of the things the mountains we have to climb in one of our you know the wilderness we have to go through but it is not who you are it is not wrapped up in your identity so 
It's time for you to rattle the cages and loose your bonds once and for all. It's time to remove the labels that were placed on you and rebuke the curses that were spoken over you. Step out of the enemy's narrative for your life and into the Lord's path and plan. I'll say that one more time. Step out of the enemy's narrative for your life and into the Lord's path and plan. It's time for you to be the head and not the tail, above only, not beneath. It's time for you to accept your unique voice and shake off the fear of man that has plagued you. You do not need to compare anymore. Who's that for today? You do not need to compare anymore. Okay? You do not need to live tormented by the enemy's lies and stuck in the endless cycles of identity and purpose confusion. You don't need to keep looking for approval from man. You don't need the certificates of man. Just the oil of the anointed one, Jesus, and his approval for you. I will post this. I'm going to say that again. You don't need to keep looking for the approval from man. You don't need their certificates. Nothing wrong with them. I'm just saying you don't need them to move on in your life. Just the oil of the anointed one, Jesus, and his approval for you. You have permission to be the breaker that you are called to be. You have permission to be undignified like David, worshipping the ark back to its rightful place. You have permission to live for the audience of one and move to the rhythm of the lion of the tribe of Judah. Psalms 92 says, But you have exalted my horn like that of a wild ox, and I have been anointed with fresh oil. You are that wild ox being anointed to tear down principalities and strongholds. You, you. I know there's people saying, how, how can I be that? I feel like I've been so powerless this season. 2021 has been such a, a powerless year for me. The Lord says you're his wild ox. The Lord says today that he's anointing you afresh. Maybe like Samson, it's just felt like you've lost your strength, your hair. You've, you, you, you feel shamed. You've lost your dignity. You've lost your will to live. And yet the Lord is going to strengthen you again. You are the unbridled war horse at the front lines, declaring a new day of breakthrough and victory after a season of hopelessness and fear. But you have to end the old and pick up the new. You can't carry both. In 2 Kings 6, as the company of the prophets were building the new and the enlarged house of the prophets, an axe head dropped into the water and lost. Elisha threw a stick in the water and the axe head floated and he said to them to pick it up. I hear the Lord saying over you, pick it up, pick up what you dropped, pick up the new thing. Don't hold back. Don't be courteous about it. Take what is yours by force. Just like when Elijah threw his mantle around Elisha and he immediately slayed the oxen and left, he left for his new odyssey. You are now recognizing the arrant hand and doing the same. It's time for you to pick up your mantle and slay your old oxen. Old things must be let go. It's time for you to stop looking behind. Let go of the past and move on. I feel, I really felt really strongly as I was writing this. I really felt strongly there are some people that you have so many questions and that is where you're holding on. But I felt the Lord say, if you will surrender your questions to me, you will move on. Okay, you will move on. There'll be, you'll, you'll feel a severing in the spirit because you no longer... You no longer need the answers, but you'll get the breakthrough of actually shifting out of that rut that you've been in. It's time to let them go. That's for somebody here. It's time to let them go. Forgive them. Move on. Man, they've just been inflicting so much pain without even knowing. Got to let go. Stop rehearsing it. You don't need that. They, you know, forg- I know it's the most difficult thing. Forgive them. Move on. If you knew the fresh slate that God has, if you knew the new thing that God has for you, you don't need to be plagued by people assassinating you. This is not in this word, but I just feel like, just for those who've been assassinated this year, the people that have been, the witchcraft that's come at you this year has been so intense. You wanted to, you want to give up and run. There's even been some that have felt spirit of death and suicide come over you, and you've been too ashamed to say it. I break that off you now in the name of Jesus, that spirit of suicide. I break that off you now in the name of Jesus. You're going to feel a fresh will to live and to walk out your calling in Jesus. That's being the enemy. You don't need to feel ashamed for it. The enemy has wore at you. It's the enemy that has been tormenting you. You watch God vindicate you for what the people spoke over you and how they badmouthed you and how they ran your name through the mud. 
You watch what he's done. He's unsliming you even as this video is going. He's unsliming you. He's cleaning you up. You watch what he's going to do. It's going to be amazing. Oh, Holy Spirit, thank you. It's time to let go of the oxen, the strongholds of the past, and pick up your groundbreaking ox anointing that tears down strongholds. Isn't it amazing? We go through strongholds. We, we, we deal with strongholds, and then God calls us the stronghold breaker. That's what the ox anointing is all about. It's time to shake off apathy and defeat. It's time to break all ties with hope deferred and the loss and grief of broken promises. It's time that you got, it's time that you traded in milk for meat and sugar for substance. It's time that you were an agent of change. It's time to be a trumpet blast of truth in this time of manipulative, manipulative lies. It's time to break down the walls that religion has only fortified through handshakes with defilement and mixture. It's time to evict the wrong kings and establish righteousness in cities and regions of the earth. It's time to charge at the kingdom of darkness and take back the ground that you lost. It's time to see the years the locusts took from you and stolen, restored. It's time to shake off all yokes and live out the freedom of the spirit. It's time to see the power of the blood of Jesus at work in your life, family, and mission. There are people that have been saying, Lord, where are you in my family this year? Where are you in my family? Why have I not seen? You're about to see the blood of Jesus work powerfully in your family where it's felt like there's just been such a war against your home. There's something about 2022 that the family of God, but that's why I feel like 2021 has been such a war against family because 2022 we're stepping into a whole new paradigm of people are calling revival, revival, we're seeking revival, seek family and you'll find revival. Seek family. God's bringing us back to the simple gospel. He's bringing, bringing us back to simplicity. Okay. All right. It's time for you to step into the John 10, 10 life of life more abundantly. It's time to storm the gates of hell and take back every single thing that has been robbed from you and every person on their way to destruction. Jeremiah 20 verse 9 says, but I will say, I'll not mention his word or speak anymore in his name. His word is in my heart like a fire, a fire shut, shut up in my bones and I'm weary of holding it in. Indeed, I cannot. And I feel the spirit of the Lord in this hour that he's putting, he's putting such a fiery uh, call upon your life. I feel like he's just, there, there's been something that has been held under wraps in your life through all the persecution and all of the warfare that you've been through. You don't even realize that there's been a compressing, a compounding interest taking place in your spirit and you are about to erupt. That's what this ox anointing is. It's like, I'm tired. I'm tired of seeing robbery in my life and around me and in my nation. And God's raising up a remnant who, who will say, I will step into this call. I will step into this mantle to see the deliverance of my nation and my community and my people and my family. That's what God is doing upon your life right now. And that's why we need the wild ones. That's why we need the ones like David who did. He, he danced undignified as the art came back. It's like we need those who in this hour will stop looking for permission from man and simply be who God's called them to be. It's time that we threw off all restraints and we ran straight into, into the eyes of Jesus, looking only him, fixed and focused on him. Even right now, I feel like the Lord's saying that he's, he's, he's raising up those who will, who will be... Uh, it's funny because I saw in the spirit like city planners, but I knew it was, it was like God was, he was sending in, uh, he's sending in like spiritual architects. These, he's sending in this apostolic people that will be sent into different regions to begin to reconstruct and social, social injustices and areas that are being out of whack. The Lord says that there has been seats that have been planned for those who would take on this mantle in this hour. And if you heard this today and you felt you felt he, you felt the Lord convict you, or you felt like there's been something stirring. I want to, I want to encourage you that God's calling you in this hour to something more than you could ever comprehend. He's calling you in this hour out of the thing that you've been stuck in. There's so many people in 2021 that have felt like I've only been putting out fires in my in my my life. I, I I'm barely making ends meet. I, I'm barely able to keep my head above water. I'm just trying to be a good parent. I feel like I'm failing in that. I feel like I'm not doing well here. How am I meant to step into this? And the Lord would say. Even in this hour that he's mantling with fresh and he's going to take care of everything that you've been trying to do in your own strength and he's going to he's going to reconcile that but in this hour he's simply asking for those who will say yes to pick up what has been dropped and to pick up the fresh mantle because people of god it is time it is time. It is time for those that have been stuck in that wilderness season. There's so many of you that have written to me and said, Nate, I've been stuck in the wilderness trials. I've been reading your book. I'm stuck in the wilderness trials. 
And I feel like the Lord is saying, this is the season you break out of that and you begin to see, wow, you begin to see the fruit of why you even had to walk through that perilous journey in the first place. You're actually going to get to see why you've been through hell and back. You're actually going to get to see why you've been through so much warfare. Why? Why do people have to drag your name through the mud? Why did I have to get slime? Why did I, people... Why are people out to, uh, to, to, to one-up me and compete with me? I'm not trying to do that. What's going on? Why do people have to assassinate me? Why do the souls have to come after me? Why can't I just... Li- this is a season you're going to see why. It's because God is handing you a new envelope with new mission, new mission uh, details. <laughs> He's helping you tie your boots on. And we're going to see some incredible fruit in 2022. It's going to be so good. Anyway, I'll put this up on YouTube. If you feel like this was this was for me, I just needed to hear this, um, you can share that as well. But thank you guys so much for um, helping me get this book out there, get this message out there, because this is a time that the church wasn't afraid to be wild for Jesus. This is a time that we need to be radical for Jesus. They can call us arrogant if they want, but they don't know, they don't know that we're just worshippers. We, they, they just don't, we're worshippers with, with warfare boots on. That's all it is. We're just, we're worshippers with military detail. We're just worshippers. We don't have a heart to try to be, we're not trying to be loud. We're not trying to be, uh, you know, we're not trying to offend people. We, we just know that as a worship and as a, as a lifestyle of worship, we need to seek him. We need to do what he says and be his mouthpiece in the earth, unafraid, uh, living for him, not man. So love you guys. Uh, if you haven't got a copy of my book, make sure you jump on Amazon today and do it. It was launched yesterday, The Wild Ones. And I'm just so grateful. I can't wait to see. By the way, please let me know. Anything blesses you in the book. I love reading them. I personally read every review. I'm like, man, I I can't wait to see what God's done through this book. Because, okay, I wrote this book knowing clearly the Holy Spirit. He dropped on me. I know that my words writing it, but it was, it's all him. So when I read these reviews, I'm not getting my head puffed up like, whoa. I'm, I'm like, man, God, God is releasing his message. And people are getting blessed by it. So it's, it's incredible. I just can't wait to see what he's going to do through this book. Love you guys. Have an amazing day. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Merry, merry, merry Christmas. I'll see you on the other side. Uh, we'll see you after Christmas. I'll talk then. Bye.